Happy holidays everyone, it's Marcia here for Scrapbook.com today. I am sharing with you a little video I put together on how I am using my Heidi Swap memory decks for my December daily. So I did a lot of prep already, um, so I don't have to create these cards every day and I die cut these cards out already ahead of time. Um, there are a couple things that help when using the memory decks. There are two dies here. The one die I'm using as a rounded top and the other one with the curved corners. And I'm using the rounded top ones for my pattern paper and cardstock cards and I'm using the one with the rounded corner for my photos. So I like to add elements to my December daily that are see-through and use sequins. So incorporate some bling in there since it's the holiday season. And so I'm going to show you how I created this card. So the cut file I'm using here, this is a jelly bean soup cut file and it did not have the memory decks slots on the card already. So what I did is I cut out this cut file from Jelly Bean Sue. Um, you can do two images. One is the image itself and the other one you can use a horizontal image. So you flip it horizontally so that you have the reverse image. And then I cut out two transparencies. And you can use acetate for this or a transparency sheet. And you cut out two of those. So now before I cut that one out, I welded on another cut file with the memory decks slots on the bottom. So this way I can turn almost any cut file into a memory decks card just by welding the two cut files together. I'm using a dryer sheet to get rid of some of the static from the transparency sheet. I have cats in my house and it seems like cat hair sticks to everything. So the dryer sheet helps clean off any cat hair if there is any and uh, it keeps it from clinging back to it again. So I'm using that and I put some sequins on and then I top it with another transparency sheet. Then I decided before I put the top layer of this cut file on, I was going to back the words with some silver cardstock. So the cardstock that I'm using, it just came out of some Nouveau packaging. It's nothing fancy. I didn't buy anything special. I'm just recycling um, what was in the Nouveau packaging. So, and it looks very pretty with the silver there in the back. And then I am going to put this over the top of the other one so that the two cut files line up exactly. Then I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around the edge. And look how pretty that looks. So you can see my machine stitching around the edge and then you can embellish it if you like. The Hey Santa collection has these festive puffy stickers and there's a little car on there that I thought would be really cute to put in front of this house scene. Then I'm going to go ahead and embellish one of my photos. So there's a die cut tag that had fun on it and I thought I would use the fun um, to go along with this photo of my niece playing hockey. But the fun tag I thought was just a little too big so I'm using the bottom part that I cut off of that tag along with a vellum snowflake and I'm just going to staple it onto my photo and then I'm going to pull off um, a puffy sticker snowman and then I'm going to add a sticker snowflake on here as well and it makes my photo look so festive I just love it 
and then I can just quickly add it to my memory decks and I can add multiple photos if I want. Um, I can um, back the photo with another photo. Um, so many options here. Um, there's also a memory decks punch to go along with this um, memory decks and if you don't like the pink color it also comes in black and white. So please check that out at scrapbook.com. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye now.